Here's a salvia de venorum story. Around the same period, early 2000s, right? People knew that I was introducing people uh, to salvia de venorum. So they would hook me up with people that they thought would appreciate salvia de venorum or they were into experimenting and stuff like this, right? So this one friend that I had, she was a massage therapist that I used to go to. And this massage therapist, I used to smoke weed and go to them, smoking weed, cannabis, and getting a massage is amazing. And a couple of times I did mushrooms and got massages with her, right? And mushrooms and massage, you better be able to handle it because it's fucking, you're fucking out of this world, right? Out of this world. When someone's massaging you, when you're on heavy, like serious... Uh, RMT right they know what they're doing right and they're massaging you it feels like they're going through your bodies fucking mind-boggling right so she knew what I was doing and stuff like this and she introduced me to uh, a friend she had which was a promoter this guy was a promoter and used to bring bands into Vancouver right one of the bands he used to bring was a string cheese incident and uh, Taj Mahal he used to bring he used to bring live bands Taj Mahal string cheese incidents and bands along that line right Taj Mahal's amazing right string cheese is amazing but this guy was flying high right he would go days without sleep right and he was my good my good thanks and uh she got him to get in touch with me i got in touch with him so we set up a time for me to introduce salvia divinorum to him right now he has set up a time where he had just finished off bringing someone in right a band he had just finished off his show so he was running on minimal sleep if any for like 48 hours right he must have been doing blow up the yin yang and everything else up the yin yang he was fucking hyper as fuck right i went to his house and he was flying everywhere. If you know anyone that does this, you'll know what I mean. They're like, speed up the yin yang, right? So I went, man. <laughs> I told him what salvia de Winora, he couldn't even fucking sit, right? I, I told him what salvia de Winora was and stuff like this. I tried to calm him down. He wouldn't calm down because he was flying high and 48 hours of no sleep and blew up the yin yang and whatever else he was on, right? So I said, okay, this guy's going to need extract, right? So I loaded him up with leaf and extract and a bong, right? He didn't, he sat down for the first hit, for the first bowl, took it all in, bang, bang, boom. He's talking like mad and stuff. I'm like, oh. for me, I was in my experiment phase to a certain degree. I, I wanted to see what this guy can take. I'm like, let's, let's see where we can take this guy, right? I set it out with one bong. He hit it hard, right? He's like, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Run around. He got up, start walking. That's one thing with Salvia de Venora. You might want to leave your space. You start walking around. I'm like, dude, you might not want to walk. No, no, I'm okay. He's going a mile a minute. I go, okay, fuck, whatever, man. Load him up again, right? Bong, extra. Hit it hard. Fucking exhaust. Take it all in. Hold it in. Blow it out. Relax. He's fucking flying around now in the room, right? I got this fucking guy to do five or six bowls of a little bit of leaf and ten times the extract. He was fucking... He was... <laughs> you didn't know what the fuck was going on, right? I, I was laughing because I couldn't believe this guy continuously said... That he wasn't feeling anything. And I'm watching him going, man, you're fucking someone. You're fucked. You're fucking. I don't know what the fuck you have. I told him straight up, salvia de honor is a detoxant. So if you're less, your body's less toxic, you need less salvia de honor. Right? If you're very toxic, you need more salvia de honor. And he was toxic as fuck. Right? So this image I have of him, and I'll never forget this. I was standing at this point. He was on his fourth or fifth bowl. We were in his living room. He's got he's holding this bong. Right? I'm like, don't break the bong. He's like, oh, I don't feel anything. Fucking he walk over to me, load him up. I got my torch lighter. Fucking 
<laughs> fucking fire him up. Load him up with extra. You come over to me with extra. Load him up with the fucking fire him up. You take a hit. He's fucking flying around, flying around, flying around, flying around, flying around. Right? I spent like a couple of hours with him. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, maybe, dude. Maybe it's not your time right now to cross over. He's fucking talking a mile a minute. He's fucking pacing like fucking mad. I said, so it's good, man. Call me up next time you want. <laughs> You're more relaxed. You want to go on a trip? I packed up my bong, emptied the water, put my little briefcase aside. <laughs> bye bye. I <laughs> left. I never heard from him again. He was. He, I have no idea what the journey he went on, but he must have had some crazy, crazy, crazy times going through that day and the next because he would have gone, What the fuck just happened to me? Okay, I do not endorse. Salvia Donorum, promote Salvia Donorum. I'm just sharing my experiences, by the way. I do not recommend doing any type of entheogens or whatnot. <laughs> just the image of him going, I'll never forget that until the day I die. <laughs> it was like a fucking, what do you call it? The pendulum going like this, like a, like a, uh, timer for piano <laughs> phony fucking like promote hallucinogens <laughs> so funny so funny Me uh, yeah meta me metronome he was he was he was literally a human walking metronome on salvia de Venorme and whatever the fuck else he was on <laughs> going like this and I was standing there going boop, 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 boop. I think I timed it a little bit going one one thousand two one <laughs> it was like so funny I, we did this for I was there for a couple of hours he we were doing this for like probably about an hour right like five six seven bowls of leaf and extract compare this to the other guy just one bowl of extract plus a half a bowl uh, not extract leaf plus a half a bowl of leaf for the other guy who was you know he drank green tea and ate herbal stuff this is early 2000s right very he was a little overweight but he ate really well he was a very grounded person he had a little kitty cat flat plants and stuff modest life he kept to himself one and a half bowl of leaf crossed into the realm hardcore this guy fucking six bowls at least of leaf and ten times extract he's fucking walking around like a metronome going i don't feel anything i don't feel anything. <laughs> like, 